All right, we're here in Florida. We took Kiwi on another surprise trip. She had no idea where we were going. We left yesterday around three in the afternoon and I just told her to bring a couple days worth of clothes. And we are in Wilston, Florida. And we're going to the, devil. the Devil's Den to go snorkeling. What do you think? I thought it was a hot spring. I wanted to go to a hot spring too. Apparently there's only one in Florida and it's like way in South Florida. And it didn't look like all that nice of a place. Mm. So, cool. Maybe another time. Maybe even save that for Japan. Yes, there's a lot of them in Japan we want to go to. Okay. So let's uh, let's go check it out. We got our snorkeling gear already, and uh, let's go see what we can see in the water. Steps are cold. I had to get used to it first. <laughs> wow. Your head. Yes, watch your head. Well, I'm not tall, so I'm not. Wow. Look at that. Is there a little harness? <laughs> What's that? Oh yeah, the water's not bad. This whole thing to ourselves. Yeah. And you're, you're all fogged up. Yeah, because like I said, I'm trying to breathe with my nose. Oh, I don't know what it is. Man. I hear it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. 
What GPS is for? He just could have just punched it in GPS. You said that sounds like fun. So yeah, we have never been to this town before, and so we went and had breakfast at a diner down that way somewhere because we stopped at that bank. So that's the bank. We and go we, that road. I know it's that, that road. road over no, there. That road right there. Yeah, we came from there. See? We're getting on that. Because we drive like. Crazy maniac. We weren't driving, we were just sitting. No, oh, coastal. Coastal. Ice cream. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have that instead of. No, I like my Kung Fu tea. Oh, Kung Fu tea earlier. Yeah. Okay, so. Just go out here. I just follow that. me. Just follow me. Go out here. Go out that light. Turn right. I mean, left. That light right there. I think turn right. You need to go that way. No. You don't think so? No. I'm going to turn the radio down. There's no map on the screen. This is going to be a map. It's cheating. Yeah, having a map is cheating. You can show us the breadcrumb trail or whatever you think. going to Jacksonville, Florida and we're going to Lego store, his favorite store in the whole wide world. <laughs> yeah, so we finished up in Gainesville and we went to the Lululemon, how do you say it? Lululemon? Lululemon, whatever you like to say. We went to the Lululemon store so she could get clearance clothes because they have a Lululemon outlet in Gainesville. Apparently it's only a seasonal store though. It is? Yeah, it's a seasonal pop-up store, which it's after Christmas. I don't know how much longer it's going to be there. They have a lot of stuff and all the things that's on, not on sales. So now, since we're not that far away, we're going to go to Jacksonville Beach and Jacksonville. We're going to go to the Lego store and get my passport stamped for the Jacksonville Lego store. This guy is going really slow. Anything else? Liquid refrigerated methane. Well, that's different. Hmm. <laughs> and then we 
might go to the beach for a little while. Depending on, and that was an armadillo. You see the armadillo? What the hell is an armadillo? You don't know what an armadillo is? No. It's a really crunchy possum. Huh? It's a crunchy possum. Possum? Crunchy? What do you mean by crunchy? It has a shell. Oh. Okay. Because Florida and, and and Florida and Atlanta works together. The Sun Pass All and right, the Peach we Pass. Need 23 North. Oh, this is going. Airport. What airport did we pass that was big enough for commercial jets? Florida? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Subject to admin charges. Well, Why don't you put them in your beach pass? The beach pass is on the car, so. Where? It's on the roof. Oh. It's on the sunroof. Oh. And then I don't want to stick around the windshield. Oh. Ah. Because I put it on the sunroof and it works just fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. It means every time we go through the toll road and So we've been to the Lego store. Kiwi's got some wings and pretzels. She's happy. There's our purchase. Got another stamp in the Lego passport, which I had to start over with a new passport like a month ago because I lost my passport somewhere. Oh well. Adventure of getting new stamps. I think the other one only had stamps from the Lawrenceville one and the Alpharetta one. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna start heading towards home and we might meet Rodriguez for dinner. I'm sure. Let's see if he's up to it. But for now, enjoy the time lapse on the way home. said we were um don't know what's going on on the interstate but a little after jacksonville it said to go back roads to i-75 and skip i-10 to 75 so uh we just entered georgia on some back roads and getting gas so here comes kiwi you want lottery because what do you mean you haven't get any lottery you haven't no do you feel like we're gonna win? No, I just wanna buy some. Okay.
How's your chili fries? You enjoying your steak? Yeah. Are you enjoying your bushes? I am enjoying my bushes. Rodriguez does not like broccoli. No. No. Kiwi no. really likes bones. I like steak without bones. All right, we're home. Uh, Kiwi's already at work and I'm at my house and I'm gonna take everything out of the car. But um, unfortunately the episode doesn't end here. So since we left Devil's Den, I've been using my GoPro Hero 8 for this video. I picked it up a couple weeks prior to us leaving for this trip. And I don't have an external microphone that works with it yet. So I don't know if you've been able to notice any audio differences. I haven't gone back to watch any of the footage yet. But uh, yeah, this is what I normally used with the Hero 7 for audio. I have this case that holds both the audio adapter that GoPro makes you buy in order to use an external microphone, which is ridiculous. You can't just plug a microphone into it. But the reason I've been using the Hero 8 is because the Hero 7 is in here. Yeah, it's in a bag of rice. So when we were at Devil's Den, partway through snorkeling, the camera quit working. And that's when I realized I forgot to put this cover back on it after we were shooting video in the parking lot. This goes over the USB ports, which this plugs into in order to use the microphone. Completely forgot to put this cover back on and the inside of the camera filled with water. So the memory card is good. I, I did pull the memory card out and dry it off. It does read, so I still have all the footage, but uh, whether the camera is still good is yet to be seen. We went to Walmart in Gainesville and bought Ziploc bags and rice, just put the camera in. Um, last time I looked, there is still visible water in the screen. So I think what I may do is get an air compressor and take it out of the rice and then try to blow the water out from the battery compartment side. I saw somebody on the internets on the GoPro forum that said you should try to remove all the water first before putting it in the rice. Unfortunately, I didn't have an air compressor with me in Florida, but I have one here at home. So I may do that and then put it back in the rice for a few days and we'll pick this video up after I've done that. I used the uh, parts bin from the Lego Land Rover Defender to hide the bag. I am about part way through bag three on this and there's the gingerbread house that Rodriguez and I built and that other competition video that you've probably seen by now. But yeah, this is turning out to be pretty cool. Looking forward to getting it done. It's now been a week since we went snorkeling and I forgot to put the cover back on the GoPro's USB port. So, moment of truth. Will it turn back on? I did pull it out of the rice on Monday and used my air compressor on it to blow the water that was still inside it that was visible on the screen. So that seemed to have gone away. Last time I looked there wasn't any more water in the screen here. So I did put it back in rice after I did that because the water had to have gone somewhere. <laughs> after I blew it out. So it's been in here for the majority of a week, except for the 20 minutes or so I pulled it out. So go ahead and take it out, put a battery in it, see what happens. Let's see. Yeah, the screen looks clear now. Actually, there's some rice inside it. Maybe once we determine if it comes on or not, we'll take the air compressor to it again to blow out. 
little pieces of rice. But here we go. Got a GoPro battery. Pop it in. See what happens. Oh. We have noise. And nothing else. Oh. Okay. So that's on. We have no back screen. what comes up when you open the settings menu. So let's cycle through the different kinds of modes. There's no beeps. It's also not an SD card in it. But that has anything to do with it. It is making a noise. Like there is a popping sound coming from the speaker. I don't know if the But it would appear that the GoPro is gone. No more Hero 7. Here's where the port goes, or where the port cover goes. That's what I forgot to put back on. Simple doing that would have prevented this problem. But, nope, I forgot. All right, well, I guess that's a lesson learned on GoPro USB cover. Uh, don't forget it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us on our trip to Devil's Den, and for this disappointment. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.